Hi everyone, I'm Sylvie, welcome to my talk. Our work studies the effect of social cultural variables on sarcasm in communication on social media. Sarcasm, a form of non-literal language, is a contextual phenomenon and qualitative research in psycholinguistics points out significant influences that speaker and listener social cultural backgrounds can have on whether sarcastic communication is effective. That is, whether the message intended by the speaker is accurately perceived by the listener. These studies suggest that social cultural information should be considered by automated sarcasm detection systems. However, there is a shortage of quantitative evidence, especially in the context of OSNs, regarding the specific variables that should be considered and the degree of influence that each variable has. Our, works aim, our work aims to fill in this gap. Specifically, we formulate three research questions. First, is the effectiveness of sarcastic communication influenced by whether the interlocutors have similar backgrounds? Second, which social cultural variables have the most influence? And third, earlier research suggests that social cultural variables may only have an influence when other contextual cues to speaker intent are missing. Does this also apply to online sarcastic communication? To answer our questions, we first chose a set of variables to investigate by looking at both psycholinguistic studies of sarcastic communication and linguistic theories of sarcasm. We chose age, gender, location, and English language nativeness, choice motivated in section three of the paper. Next, on a crowdsourcing platform, we asked Twitter users to provide sarcastic and non-sarcastic tweets that they themselves had posted in the past. Tweet labels were thus implicitly specified by their authors. We refer to these labels as intended sarcasm labels. The output was a data set of tweets, each tweet with its intended sarcasm label. Next, we formed several treatment groups of third-party annotators, each group containing representatives of one socio-cultural background. And we tasked each group with relabeling our tweets, referring to any such label as a perceived sarcasm label. Finally, we compared intended and perceived labels from across treatment groups. And with, with this uh, methodology in mind, let us look at how we answered each research question. Our first one was, is the effectiveness of sarcastic communication influenced by whether the interlocutors have similar social cultural backgrounds? To answer these questions, we considered two treatment groups of third party annotators. The first one had annotators with the same social cultural background as the speakers. The second one had annotators of opposing backgrounds. We then compared perceived labels from each, each uh, treatment group with intended labels using F score. And we noticed that the first listener group was significantly more able to recognize sarcasm as intended by the speakers compared to the second. So this suggests a positive answer to our first research question. Let's now look at the second question, which social cultural variables have the most influence? To answer this, we collected perceived labels from four further treatment groups <clears throat> of third party annotators. Each group had annotators of the same background as the speaker, except for flipping one variable of investigation. So for instance, list equals speak minus age denotes a treatment group where the listeners have the same background as the speakers, except for a different age. We found that we found age to be uh, the most influential, followed by English language nativeness and gender. Country was not statistically influential. Our final research question was, can contextual cues alleviate social cultural differences? This time we asked listeners to consider not only the text of the tweet that they were annotating, but also surrounding tweets and any contextual information that they may find on the Twitter profile of the author of the tweet. And we found age to still be a significant barrier. The impact may, uh, of all the other social cultural variables investigated was made insignificant. So how are these results useful for future work? First, we provided quantitative empirical evidence that social cultural information should be considered in the design of future social analysis tools that either study sarcasm 
or look at related phenomena where sarcasm may have an influence, such as the expression of sentiment, emotion, or hate speech. We also make public uh, the data set of tweets annotated for intended sarcasm, as well as the code used for serving and statistical analysis. In future work, we could study the potential interactions between social cultural variables. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you are now motivated to read our paper and I look forward to the Q&A session.